So my name is Dr Chris McBainrig and I'm a medical anthropologist working in the College of Public Health, Medical and Veterinary Sciences. So I studied anthropology at JCU, that was my undergraduate degree, and as part of my studies I started to get really interested in the beliefs that people from all over the world have about their bodies, the ways that the body works, how we heal, how we are ill, um, and the ways that local communities come together to care for those who are unwell. Regional areas of Queensland everywhere uh, are affected by access barriers to care and it's something that we really need to work to get right. Um, one of the beauties about rural and remote Queensland of course is the innovative service provision measures that we've um, implemented across the country um, to try and overcome some of those barriers and make sure that everyone has access to the best quality healthcare. The kind of research that I do should benefit the community overall in Queensland and across Australia and other parts of the world by examining the ways that people feel most comfortable accessing healthcare when they need it. The ways that communities themselves band together and create their own solutions for health and wellbeing. Um, those kinds of um, community-based actions can have a real, really strong benefit for people living in local regions. I was attracted to studying anthropology because it, it brought history alive for me. You know, this was a way to connect with other human beings and start to understand and explore the, the cultural diversity that we see among humans all over the planet. And in some ways in doing that, you find yourself as well. Knowing what it is to be human underpins everything that we do. It, it informs the way that we engage with technology, how we create that technology and our place within that. Um, and our place within our broader environment. So for me, anthropology was an obvious choice. 